Hi guys, it's Paul Salt, and I wanted to show you how you can make iPhone apps if you have a PC. Uh, there's a service called Mac and Cloud. If you go to macandcloud.com, and once you sign up, it costs a penny to sign up for their trial, so you can try it out. Uh, and then once you do that, uh, their pricing is sort of a pay-as-you-go service. I think the one thing you have to be careful is you have to log out, otherwise you might get. Uh, additional fees if you're doing a pay-as-you-go so <clears throat> this lets you have three five eight hours a day uh, when you're logged in uh, with the subscription if you choose pay-as-you-go uh, there's different pricing here so I just signed up and I want to try it out there's two options you can either use it in Chrome or you can use it uh, with the remote desktop in Windows 7 or I guess Windows 8 and I'm going to show you how that works so I'm on a Windows PC and I'm going to double click this to connect sometimes it asks you if you want to connect and just hit yes and then they sent me a username and password to log into this machine so I'm logging into a Mac that's somewhere in the cloud uh, using the credentials they sent me for my trial and we can see that I have the Mac, I'm going to make this bigger. And so when you first start up, you'll probably see some pop-ups uh, where you agree to some terms for your new user account. And then I quickly made a little iPhone app and I'm going to show you how that works. So if you launch Xcode, that's this little blueprint with the hammer. <clears throat> you can then create a new Xcode project. And just to do a simple one, I'll do a single view application. I'll just call it test app and then you can set your organization name a company identifier uh, this needs to be unique normally you use reverse DNS so that you do the com dot and then your name so that's a good way to get started and then you'll see on the next line what it formats into for your bundle identifier and this needs to be unique for all iPhone apps uh, and then I'm just gonna keep use automatic reference counting on and set the device from universal just to iPhone just because we have a smaller screen here. So I hit next. You can leave the git repository checked if you want source control. For simplicity I'm just going to turn that off and hit create and now it's going to save this to my desktop. So if I look I'll see that I have two folders. One is that new test app so that's that now we have a working iPhone app we just hit the play button in the top left it will start the iPhone simulator it should pop up in a second once it installs or you can click on it down here this is going to be a little bit slower than if you have your own Mac but this is a workaround if you don't have a Mac so you can see that the iPhone screen is pretty big uh, compared to this if you're working on apps, you can also scale your iPhone screen. So we could scale to 75% if we wanted to, and then you would be able to see. You can do the same thing with the iPad. So that's a little bit of that. Uh, just to give you a quick taste, you can play around with the interface here. So if I go over to my object browser on the right, and I'm gonna switch this to display grid, I can drag out a button and a label and now we'll have something, if we rerun it, we'll see these new components in the app. And so that's how to use Mac and Cloud. And so this is a good solution. Uh, the only downside is it's paid. So I think it's $20 a month. Um, but if you're interested in doing development, I would check this out because this is a good option if you don't have the money to pay for a Mac. Okay, have a good day. Yeah, I just want to follow up with one more thing so you want to make sure you do log out of this and I'm going to go ahead and just close Xcode and I'll hit stop tasks and then I'll click on the app on the top left and say log out and then hit log out again and that should log you out uh, you'll get a message and then that should go away so you want to make sure you do that at the end otherwise you might be charged for additional time so that's all